I just want to stop that. Uh, I just want to stop that right there for a moment. I just want to stop that right there for a moment. Hmm. How amazing is that? I'm going to stop that there for a moment. I want to read you, read you that verse. Now, now my God, may your eyes be open and your ears att atten attentive to the prayers offered in this place. Second Chronicles chapter 6, verse 40. Verse 40. Amen to that. Amen to that. And that means let's worship. And that on would only mean something. That would only mean. And remember how how our videos have been our opening videos have been talk have been talking having this word in it, the Bible, because this is God's word, and we're going to be looking inside God's word today, um, as we talk about God strengthens us, because God does strengthen us, and, and we're going to be talking about that when we, uh, when I, uh, when I preach, when I go on to preach today, I'm going to be talking about God, God giving us strength, God is strengthening us, and that's the, our theme today, our theme today is talking about God strengthens us. We're going to be reading a few verses out of the Bible today as we talk about God strengthens us. So, Guitar Rocks, you know what time it is? I know what time it is. And I hope you know what time it is. It's time right now to turn our hearts and minds to God. Welcome. 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 Good afternoon, Guitar Rocks. Good afternoon, Guitar Rocks. It's me, your host, Cody Rep here. Our um, our our tech person's not here, so we're gonna just uh uh do, do this on our own. So here we go. Welcome. Let us worship the King of Kings today. Let us worship. Here we go. Blessed be your name by Matt Redman. Here we go. Blessed be your name. And blessed be your name in the land that is plentiful. Where your streams of abundance flow, blessed be your name. And blessed be your name, when I'm found in the desert's place. Though I walk through the wilderness, blessed be your name. And every blessing you pour out, I'll turn back to praise. When the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will say, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name. Blessed be your name. When the sun shining down on me, when the world's all as it should be, blessed be your name. And blessed be your name on the road marked with suffering. Though there's pain in the offering, blessed be your name. Every blessing you pour out, I'll turn back to praise. And when the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will say, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name. You give and take away. You give and take away. My heart will choose to say, Lord, blessed be your name. You give and take away. You give and take away. My heart will choose to say, Lord, blessed be your name. Every blessing you pour out, I'll turn back to praise. 
And when the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will say, Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your name. And blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your glorious name. Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your glorious name. You give and take away, you give and take away, my heart will choose to say, Lord blessed be your name. Here we go with our next song called, You Are My All in All. Here with my next song called, You Are My All in All. You are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I seek. You are my all in all. Seeking you as a precious jewel. Lord, Lord, to give up, I'd be a fool. You are my all in all Taking my sin, my cross, my shame Rising up again, I bless your name You are my all in all When I fall, when I fall down, you pick me up When I am dry, you fill my cup You are my all in all Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. You are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I seek. You are my all in all, seeking you as a precious jewel. Lord, to give up, I'd be a fool. You are my all in all. Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. Lamb of God, worthy is your name. Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. Lamb of God, worthy is your name, worthy is your name, worthy is your name. Amen. Our next song is called Walk by Faith by Jeremy Camp. Next song is Walk by Faith. Uh, um, Walk by Faith, um, and it's by Jeremy Camp, but before we um, get started with the song, I just want to um, say, there's a song um, called I Still Believe, Al, and, and, it's a, and it's a song that Jeremy Camp wrote called I Still Believe, and it's a movie that goes back from uh, when he was, a, from when he was a, going to college, and the song I Still Believe talks about I still believe in Jesus Christ. I still believe in Jesus. And he wrote that song after um, after he lost his wife. And then this song called Walk by Faith is another song he wrote after he lost his wife. Um, uh, and his wife's name was Melissa. Melissa Camp was his wife's name. But now he's married. He's uh, married to somebody else. But this song, Walk by Faith, is another song that that goes along with I still believe in that talks and that talks about 
walking by the by your faith by by the faith of God just walking by the faith of God and this is what this song really talks about is walking by the faith of God and the faith that you have in God so let's do the song called walk called walk by faith here we go with walk by faith let's do a song called walk by faith will I believe when you say Will I believe you when you say your hand will guide my every way? Will I receive the words you say every moment of every day? Well, I will walk by faith even when I cannot see because this broken road prepares your will for me. Help me to rid my endless fears. You've been so faithful for all my years. With the one breath you make me new. Your grace covers all I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. by faith even when I cannot see because this broken road prepares your will for me well I'm broken but I still see your face well you've spoken pouring your grace your words of grace well I will walk by faith even when I cannot see well because this broken road prepares your will for me well I will walk by faith even when I cannot see well because this broken road prepares your will for me well I will walk by faith even when I cannot see well because this broken road prepares your will for me well I will walk by faith even when I cannot see well because this broken road prepares your will for me well, you've spoken, pouring your words of grace. Well, I will walk by faith, even when I cannot see. Well, because this broken road prepares your will for me. Well, because, uh, well, I will walk by faith, even when I cannot see. Well, because this broken road prepares your will for me. Let us pray today. Today, Guitar Rocks, let us go into a word of prayer. Let us just pray today. That no matter what we're going through, that Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, is with us. That Jesus Christ... Your Lord and Sa our Lord and Savior, Savior will lead us today and will guide us today. Say so what? Let us pray. Precious Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, I just thank you for this wonderful, for this marvelous day today, Lord Jesus. I just pray that you lead us into the right direction. That you guide us today, Lord Jesus. And I just pray over the over the sermon today that that um that you just give us the power to that you give me the power to preach. You're out of your word today to preach about you. You given us strength today, Lord Jesus, because Lord Jesus, you do give us strength, and and that and that's what and that's and that's what we're going to preach about today. Is you giving us strength, and I just pray for the sermon that that you uh, give me a word to say as I preach, um, as I preach to you, talking about uh, 
and and as I preach uh, to uh, this uh, Guitar Rocks channel, uh, so they know uh, about that strength that you give us today, Lord Jesus. But not the strength that you just give us today, but the strength you give us each and every day, Lord Jesus. So, Lord Jesus, I just pray that all this today and all throughout our times of trials today, I just pray all this today in your most powerful, beautiful, and marvelous name today, Lord Jesus. I pray. Amen. Amen. Well, uh, just a few quick announcements uh, for you today. Uh, today's Wednesday. So tomorrow's going to be our last day of our devotion, of, our, uh, of a uh, devotion for the week. Um, and the devotion is turned into a sermon. Um, so it's going to be the last day tomorrow for, not forever, but for the rest of the week. Um, we're going to be uh, continuing just to do these uh, Monday through Thursday devotional um um, that, I mean, I make into a sermon, um, on, uh, we're going to continue them for the rest of the summer, so just letting you guys know. Friday, quarantine, quiet time, um, I'm like, guys all know, Friday, um, our quarantine, quiet time is only on Fridays, um, from now on, and this is day, I believe, 40, for, day 40 of our quarantine, quiet times. I believe it's day 40. I'm not sure. But quarant Friday quarantine quiet time. Um, we're going to be continuing these quarantine quiet times probably until um, just until uh, this COVID-19 pandemic is gone and like there's no sign up. And then and like there's no, like, no way that it will come back, that this COVID-19 pandemic will come back. So just to let you guys know, fr that's what's happening on Fridays. Um, and, and we're going to just continue to do, do these quarantine quiet times until we know that... Um, that this uh that this virus and that this pandemic uh I will never I will never come back um again so we're just gonna continue doing it until until I I until I uh, hear the word from Governor Phil Murphy um the New Jersey governor uh the governor where I where I'm at um uh, of the state I'm in um Governor after I hear from the New Jersey governor um I will just let you guys know that hey this I'll I'll say this uh pandemic COVID nineteen pandemic is over, and then and then that will be the end of our quarantine quiet time. So just to let you guys know, so we're we're just gonna continue with these quarantine quiet times. Hey, it's July. It's been July since um last since last uh since last Wednesday. Been July. So we're continuing our Carrie Job and Rent collect our Carrie Job and Rent collective series. As Friday we do, I am not alone by Carrie Job, and Saturday build your and Saturday build your kingdom here by Carrie Job. Uh, j no, Saturday build your kingdom here by Ren Collective. My bad. Um, another thing with this uh, Carrie Job and Ren Collective, with, with our series is this. With our series, we are not. I'm not with our series. I am not going to be having. I know you know how how I have the words up um uh, for you guys. Well, for our series, for our I am fr Friday for I am not alone by Carrie Job. I'm not gonna have no words up. Saturday for for build your kingdom here. I will have no words up, and that and that is final. Like no words up for um we're not gonna have no words up for our um for our series. We will not have any words up. I'm gonna be. I, I'm gonna try to get words up for for when I do our tutorials. I'm gonna try to try to uh, have a slideshow for our tutorials, but I am not positive about that. And you remember how last Friday how I introduced to you guys a song called "Yes I Will" by uh, Vertical Worship. At the end of the month, we are going to be doing a. I'm gonna be uploading a lyric video. I'm I'm in the middle. I'm in the process right now. I'm in the process. I'm in the in the process right now of making the lyric video, but July, but the end of July, we, we're gonna have a lyric video for the song "Yes I Will." Um, we we'll have a lyric video up on uh up on uh on the, this channel um at the end of um July. Um, I forgot to put that in my announcements, but that is gonna happen. We're gonna have a lyric video at the end of July up on this channel for "Yes I" for the song "Yes I Will" by Vertical Worship. Um. But you know what? Let's uh, quickly take this time right now, and let's and let me prepare uh, uh, for today's sermon as we talk about God and God strengthens us and God and God giving us strength. 
So just please uh, uh, bear with me as I set up for our uh, for our uh, sermon. As we talk about God strengthens us and God gives us strength. So so guitar rocks, please stay tuned. And I will. And I mean, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not ending this vi this video. I'm just gonna uh, quickly uh, uh, put my sermon notes up on my up on uh, up on the the music stand, and then we will be ready to rock and roll and to worship our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ today. Because I can't wait to take this time today to worship, because worship is 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 just. I, I, I just enjoy worshiping. I enjoy worshiping our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, uh, the one who died on the cross for our sins. I just I just like to come and just to praise and just to worship him. So that's what we're going to do today is we're going to come and we're going to just come and pray to praise and worship our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So please join me as I, as I praise and worship our Lord and Savior, Jesus, Jesus Christ, today. I'm talking about God, God giving us strength today, because God will give us strength today, and God will give us strength today, but not just today, but every day, God will give us strength, and that's, and that's what we are here to talk about uh, when we come together to worship, uh, when we come together, when we, when we always come together, when we come together for worship, and how we always talk about God giving us strength, we're going to continue to talk about that today. Let me um, quickly open up my Bible to, to, to today's scripture, to our first scripture for today. And then I will get started. And, well, I mean, so I'm, as, I'm, as I'm opening up my, my Bible today, um, I just want to say this today. As I'm opening up my Bible today, um, so today, um, so the strength that possesses as humans is limited. No matter how many self-help ideas we we implement or positive or positive statements. We pro we proclaim our sh we we proclaim our strength will only take us so far that may discourage some, but hopefully the truth we we read from God's word will deposit hope in us instead. So the truth we read from God's word, which is this Bible will deposit hope in us and will, will give us hope will give us hope um and will put and bring hope in us and second corinthians chapter 12 the apostle paul was sharing about a thorn in his flesh you know what uh just quickly bears me as i as i turn on the light as i get some light so we, i can actually read in the bible so let me quickly get some light okay uh, let me restart this. Uh, uh, starting at, uh, in Second Corinthians. So in Second Corinthians chapter twelve, the Apostle Paul was sharing about a thorn in his flesh that continued to torment him. He actually pleaded and begged God to remove it, but each time God told him, "My grace is all you need. My power works best in weakness." And we're going to read Second uh, Corinthians chapter twelve, verse nine. And verse nine says this: "But he said to me." My grace is sig significant for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladness, all the more gla gla gladly about, the we about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. Let me uh, reread that again. But he said to me, may my... But he said to me, my grace is significant for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly, gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me. Just think about that for a minute. Just think about, think about that for a minute. God used a man, God used this man to influence, to influence the early church and take the gospel to numerous countries. And in the, in his moment of weakness, he begs God to help, to help him. And God basically says no, but God doesn't stop there. God tells Paul that it, that it's when he, when he's weak. 
when he's weak that the perfect power of God is working best. Imagine that we need to imagine that we need to we need we need to be weak to see God's power work best. Why will we see weakness as a burial as a barrier? So why will we see we are seeking weakness as a barrier? God is using it to uphold us. Our strength as humans may come to a certain level. But with God's strength boosting us up, there is nothing we can ensure endure. So but so God's strength is boosting us up. And because God's strength is boost, is boosting us up, there is nothing that we can not that we can't endure. And and we're all either in a challenge. We're all either in a challenge season, challenging season, and a challenging season we're in right now, fighting this uh pit, and the season summer and summer and 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 I know how on some how I went to summer, you guys all. Everybody goes out, goes out on vacations and all that, and travels. But we can't do that now due to this uh, COVID nineteen pandemic. It just came and it messed up our whole summer, and it messed up our whole entire summer. So now we're all either. So now we're all in a challenging season, which is the challenge. The challenging season is summer, and the re- and the reason why it's challenging is because uh, because this pandemic COVID nineteen. Uh, something, uh, something called COVID-19 came and messed up our whole entire summer. Or we'll be in one, or we, or we'll be in one soon. We'll, but we're in one now. And, and, and we might be in another one come September, come fall. Uh, we might be another challenging season as, as this pandemic still may be here. But we, but we pray every day that this pandemic just, just doesn't come and this, that this pandemic stays here, doesn't, doesn't stay, that this pandemic goes bye-byes, that this pandemic goes bye-byes, leaves. So we will be in, so we may be in one soon, uh, when fall comes, we still may be in this challenging season, but we may still, when, when fall comes, we may still be in the challenging season because, um, it, but it depends on if this pandemic leaves leaves or if this pandemic stays right here life can either life can life can either bring it gent- gently or it can hit like an unexpected like an unexpected t- t- tsunami tsunami so life can either bring it gentle gently or it can hit like an unexpected tsunami so life can either bring this pandemic gently or life can can or this pandemic can hit like an unexpected tsunami and this pandemic i right now it hit like an unexpected tsunami because this th- this pandemic was unexpected it was unexpected and um and and it's and people's dying from it and and it and Nobody knew that uh, and that our summer would be messed up, and that this uh, that this deadly virus called COVID nineteen, the coronavirus, the coronavirus would come to mess up our whole summer. And so, and so this pandemic, this COVID nineteen pandemic, hit uh, it it hit like an unexpected, like an unexpected tsunami. Regardless of how we enter into hard hard times. We will have to learn how to walk through them. We have to rely on God's help, and that's and that right there is true. We have to rely on God's help um, uh, to uh, uh, for this pandemic, this COVID nineteen pandemic, to go away. But we are. But what we possess on our on our own just isn't significant. We need God. We we need God's strength, and that and and. I'm telling you right now, we do need God's strength as as what this world's going through, as what this world's going through, and as what whatever's ha- and whatever we're going through in our lives, whatever the world's going through, um, and just and just anything in general, we need God's strength. If you, 
we need God's strength to to boost up to boost us up again and so we can just and just so we can resume life as normal as so we can so this world can return to normal and all this and um and I'm going to uh, quickly read to you uh, from uh, from Isaiah, from the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter uh, forty, Isaiah chapter forty, verse twenty eight to verse thirty one says this. Isaiah chapter. So if you have your Bibles, please open them up to Isaiah chapter forty, Isaiah forty, verse twenty eight through thirty one, and it says this, and it says this, and it's talking about in Isaiah chapter forty. Verse twenty eight, it starts. It starts to talk about. Um, it starts talking about comfort, comfort for God's people, and 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 t- talks about comfort for God's people, and and we are God's people, and we need comfort. We need comfort. We need comfort, and and this is what Isaiah chapter twenty eight, Isaiah chapter forty, verse twenty eight through thirty one talks about is is comfort for God's people and and we do and we are God's people and we do need comfort so let's start uh so I'm going to read to you uh verse 28 right now verse 28 says this do do you not know do you not know have you not heard do you not know have you not heard the Lord is the everlasting God that right there's that Let's stop right there for a mo- for a moment. Do you not know? Have you not heard that the Lord is the everlasting everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth? Let's uh, quickly stop right there for a moment. Let's. I want to stop right there for a moment, and and I want to quickly talk about that because the Lord is the everlasting God, and and He is the creator of the ends of the earth, and but. If you don't read your read the Bible, if you don't read this Bible right here, if you don't know anything about God, if you don't have faith in God, uh, uh you will you will not know, and you have would have not heard that the Lord, our Heavenly Father, the Lord Lord Jesus Christ, the one the one who's who died on the cross for our sins, the one who is in heaven, he is an everlasting God, and he is the creator of the ends of, of the earth. And I, and I, and I say he is the creator of the ends of the earth, and, and the Bible says he is the creator of the ends of the earth, because in, the, in Genesis, which is the, in the beginning of the Bible, in Genesis chapter, uh, in Genesis, which is in the beginning of the Bible, Genesis chapter 1 talks about the beginning, and, and, and it talks about the beginning of the earth and the beginning of the heavens and the earth. And, and uh, chapter 1, verse 1, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. I'm, let me continue to verse 2. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, Let there be light. Let there be light. And there was light. God saw the, saw the light. So that the light was good, and he separated separated the light from the darkness. The light. So look. So like look. Uh, so he. So God created the heavens and the earth, and he and he uh, and and he um, and and he saw the, that the earth was formless and empty. Uh, so God said, "Let there be light," and there was light. Um, and then God saw that the light was good, so he separated the light from the darkness, and and so God came up with, and so God also, and so God, this is, so this darkness, God separated from, from this right here, from light. So at in daytime, so when it's, so I mean, when I turn turn the light off, it's it's still light because the sun is shining through the wind the windows and because it's light outside but then when it's when the sun sets but then when the sun sets it gets dark so god, that's why god separated the light from the darkness and and how he did that what and what that meant was was he separated the 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 light the the night from the day the nighttime from the daytime so now when it's 
light when it's daytime, it's light outside. But when it's nighttime, it's dark outside. So, so that, so that means that he is the creator of the ends of the earth. Let me uh, just quickly, let me turn the turn the light back on uh, in the studio. Um, and he will not grow tired or weary. And his understanding, no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths, even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles, like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Second Corinthians. Let's uh, now open up our Bibles uh, to Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter twelve, uh, uh, verse nine, uh, which we read in the beginning. But we're going to read verse nine and ten, and it, and it talks about Titus sent to um, Titus sent to Corneth. Corneth. So verse nine and ten. Uh, wait, no, sorry, wrong. That was chapter nine. Sorry, wrong chapter. Chapter 12 talks about Paul's vision and his thorn. And verse 9 says this. But he said to me, my grace is significant significant for you. For my power is made in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weakness is. So that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why for Christ sake i delight in weaknesses in my in in insults of hard of hardships and pers section pers persecutions and difficulties for when i am weak then i am strong for when i am weak then i am strong and 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 when and we are when we are weak and when we are weak god says and when we are weak god gives us his strength and makes us strong, and um, and yet when, when and when when we are weak, God gives us his God gives us his his strength so that so that way we can be strong. And in uh and in James in, in the book of James James chapter one verse two through four um it talks about this. And in uh, the book of James, let me uh let's open up our Bibles right now to the book of James. In uh, James, in, in James chapter one verse four, it says this. In verse, in chapter one verse two through four, it says this. Consider it, consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance, let perseverance finish its work. So that you may be mature and com complete, not lacking anything. And First Peter chapter one verse seven says this: These have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith is greater worth than gold, which perishes, even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Um, so today, so in conclusion, so as I, um, so in conclusion today, as we, um, conclude today, um, as we conclude today, and as we, um, as we conclude today, and as I, I get ready to sing the song, uh, uh, this one song called, um, uh, called, by Elevation Worship called, called Graves, called Graves Into Gardens. As I am getting ready to sing this this next song called "Graves into Gardens," um, and we are uh, we are gonna come together to just to praise and worship. And I'm gonna sing this uh, song called "Graves into Gardens." But but before I do that, in conclusion, um, uh, to today, uh, so uh, when we're in a uh, so when we're in a trial where we have our own thorn in the flesh, we can we can derive power by admitting we can't do it 
on our own, calling out to God. So we navigate the, 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 the fury trials in our lives. It's an opportunity for our faith to be proven genuine. It's a chance for God's strength to strengthen us so that we will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. And, and in James chapter 1, verse 4, it, and, and I want to end quick, just quickly today um, uh, uh, with a reading from the book of James, from uh, James chapter 1, verse 4. And um, in the book of James, in James chapter 1, verse 4, and it, and it talks about this. And it, and it says this in James chapter 1, verse 4. And it says this. Perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. And just amen to that. Amen to that. And, and we um, are going to go right now into a song called Graves into Gardens. Um, and I mean, it's one of my favorite songs. And I hope you enjoy the song. Um, called Graves and Gardens. Um, but before we do that, I'm, I'm gonna uh, quickly, uh, I'm gonna quickly just show, uh, I'm just gonna quickly show this verse quickly. Um, um as we are, as we, uh, b before we, uh, move on to the song called Graves and Gardens. And, and it says this, it comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse, chapter 12, verse 9, and we, and we read that today. My grace is always more than, than enough for you, and my power finds its full expression expression through your weakness let me reread that again my grace is always more than enough for you and my power finds its full expression through your weakness this next song is called graves into gardens by elevation worship so here we go with graves into gardens by elevation worship here we go with graves into gardens I mean, quickly, I, I, here we go I searched the world, but it couldn't find fill me. Man's empty praise and treasures that fade. You are never enough. Then you came along, but put but put me and put me back together. And every desire is now satisfied. Here in your love, oh, there's nothing better than you. There's nothing better than you. Lord, there's nothing better than you. Nothing is better than you. I am, I'm not afraid to show you my weakness my failures and flaws lord you've seen them all and you still call me friend cause the god of the mountain is the god of the valley there's not a place your mercy and grace won't find me again oh there's nothing better than you there's nothing better than you lord there's nothing nothing is better than you oh there's nothing better than you there's nothing better than you lord there's nothing nothing is better than you you turn mourning to dancing you give beauty for ashes you turn shame into glory you're the only one who can you turn mourning to dancing you give beauty for ashes you turn shame into glory you're the only one who can you turn graves into gardens. You turn bones into armies. You turn seas into highways. You're the only one who can. You're the only one who can. Oh, there's nothing better than you. There's nothing better than you. Lord, there's nothing. Nothing is better than you. 
there's nothing better than you. There's nothing better than you. Lord, there's nothing. Nothing is better than you. You turn graves into gardens. You turn bones into armies. You turn seas into highways. You're the only one who can. You turn graves into gardens. You turn bones into armies. You turn seas into highways. You're the only one who can. You're the only one who can. You're the only one who can. Thank you for joining us today. And we just really come together today. And just really thank uh, God today for all that he has done for us. And for all that he has done for me today. Um, and, um... And we just call, really do come today to, just to praise and just to worship our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And, and yes, God does give us strength. And he gives us strength not just today, but every single day for the rest of our lives. God will give us strength. I want to quickly, um, I just quickly want to play, I want to play this song. And then I um, just want to play, um, I just want to play this, this song called, um, called Give Me Strength, Lord. And it really talks about, um, really talks about, uh, giving, um, and talks about giving us strength, um, today, but not just today, but every day for the rest of our lives. This song really does talk about giving, talks about giving us strength. Here we go. It's just, I mean, just quickly play this video. Uh, and remember um, h um, how we uh, did the song today called um, called Give Me Faith um, by Jeremy Camp. I want to quickly um, uh, just play you guys to uh, uh, just play the the, me the music video to to give me faith. Um, and then I'm going to um, and I'm going to play the song. I still believe um, quickly. Um, but um, but this uh, song by Jeremy Camp, um, it. The the lyric video the uh, music video really um just just really like touches um just touches me and I hope it re like touches your hearts today and your hearts and minds today um because like I said the lyric video really touched me and it and it like and it just and it just didn't, doesn't didn't touch me today but touch me like every day this but this lyric video touches me like every single day this lyric video touches me because of just how just really how powerful and just how um well done uh others and also by like well how down how, how done this lyric video is um so so here's this so here's a lyric video right now called walk by faith
I mean, we're gonna do a song. I still believe. To, I'm gonna. I'm gonna show you the. Uh, I. I'm gonna let you guys listen to the song. I still believe tomorrow. So just uh, please watch out for that tomorrow. Because that song will go along with our sermon for tomorrow. Let me just uh, pause that. Uh, I mean, pause that right there for right now. Um, and, and you saw how um, I, I, I'm how uh, Melissa Camp. Uh, that, that was the person laying in the hospital bed. Uh, you saw how, how how she could barely lift up her hand, her arms. But God, because she's weak. But um, because she was weak. But God gave. But God gave her a strength. But God gave her strength, but um, but that strength didn't last long because then she uh, later died. Um, so that strength that God gave her really didn't last long. But I'm gonna continue uh with this uh, lyric uh, with, this, with the, this video. So how amazing is that today? How powerful is that today? So how amazing and how powerful is that today? That 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 today is it is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Just just think about how amazing and how powerful that is today. Uh, um, how that amazing power today just really touched us today. How that amazing power of God came to us today and was with us today but not just but that power just wasn't with us today but that that power was with us every day that power will be with us every single day and it will be with us for the rest of our lives and just that, that just that wonderful touch that wonderful touch of power um from god just really touched us just really touched me today and i and i hope it continues uh to touch each and every one of you um not just today, not just tomorrow, but every day for the rest of our lives. That that power will, uh, but that just, but that just that wonderful spirit and that just that wonderful power of God will touch us. Will touch us. Um, but I want to qu quickly um end right now in a word of prayer. I want you to join me as as we as I end into a word of prayer today. As I end today in a word of prayer, and as we come together today, just to praise our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, will you just please join me as we end in a word of prayer? Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I just thank you for this day. Lord Jesus, I just pray today that um, that no matter what we're going through, that just that your Holy Spirit is here, that you just lead us today, that you just guide us today, Lord Jesus. And I just pray that just that you're with us and that... Um, and just that you just, um, that you just get us through the rest of our day. 
and that when he gets through the rest of the day, that that we're not weak, but we're strong, and but we're not weak. Um, but we're, just get us through the rest of the day, and just uh, and just help us not be weak, be weak, but help us be strong, Lord Jesus. Don't help us to not be weak, but be strong today, Lord Jesus. But not just today, but every day, Lord Jesus. And just give us the strength and the power to go, uh, just to go through the rest of our, um, of the day and, 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 uh, go through, uh, the night tonight. They give us your strength, Lord Jesus. They lead us, uh, in the right direction. They guide us in the right direction, Lord Jesus. And that your Holy Spirit is with us. Um, and Lord Jesus, that you just, um, help us. And that you just help us uh, with whatever pro troubles we're, and with, with whatever problems we're going through, Lord Jesus. That you just help us. So, Lord, and because, Lord Jesus, we're all going through trouble, hard, tough problems. We're all going through troubles, Lord Jesus. And and it's well because of this COVID-19 pandemic. Um, so I just pray that you just, that you're just with us as we, as we go through these troubles together. As we go, and I just, Lord Jesus. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your forgiveness. Thank you for your son, Jesus. Thank you for everything today, Lord Jesus. For you are our Lord and Savior. For you died on the cross for our sins. And we just thank you today, Lord Jesus. But we just don't thank you today, Lord Jesus. But we thank you each and every day, day for the rest of our lives. We just thank you, Lord Jesus. We just thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm going to take this time right now. Um, I just want to take this time right now and just end in a song. Because this song is just powerful. So I just want to take this time uh, right right now to end, to end in the song. I'm actually going to play the song on the guitar. So here we go. Let's end the song. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't have the words for the song. So just, uh, so if you, I mean, but you pretty much should know the song. It's called Amazing Grace. My chains are gone. And then we're going to do a song um, above all. So here we go with Amazing Grace, My Chains Are Gone. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound has saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, I once was lost, but Grace, that's all. Trust grace, that's all. My heart to fear and grace, my fears relieve. How precious did that grace appear? The hour I first believed. My chains are gone today. My chains are gone. I've been set free. My God, my Savior. My God, my Savior has ransomed me. And like a flood, and like a flood, His mercy reigns. Unending love. Unending love. Amazing grace. has promised the Lord has promised good to me his word my hope secures he will my shield and portion me as long as life my chains are gone, my chains are gone, I've been set free, my God, my Savior has ransomed me, and like a flood, and like a flood, His mercy reigns, unending love, amazing grace, my chains are
are gone today. My chains are gone. I've been set free. My God, my Savior has ransomed me. And like a flood, His mercy to shine, but God who called me here below will be forever mine, will be forever mine, you are forever. God bless, and I'll see you tomorrow.